Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Handy Mandy TV. So this week I'm just going to do a quick video on, um, it's just the makeup for fall, winter, and one trend that I really, really liked was um, not only the dramatic eyeliner, because I've always done that, like double winged and all sorts of stuff that they've done, um, I am going to do the blue, they have like this royal indigo kind of blue theme that's going on for eyeshadow and because my eyes are blue and I'm putting blue eyeshadow on which is not the same color of course I'm using CoverGirl Indigo Impact 450 and this is from their eye enhancers Sombra Real Zadora oh no never mind sorry that's Spanish um so if you're in the states now you know um so I can open this up for you guys this is the color that I'll and as you can see, it's not the same color as my eyes. But because another trend happens to be two-tone, which is where whatever your color is, do, um, a, like, if it, my eyes are green light, I'll do a dark green. Or if my eyes are dark green, I'll do a light green. So, like, that two, and any color your eyes are, just choose the same color, but a different shade or uh, warmth or coolness. And that two-toned is really in right now. Um... Especially too with the blush and the bronzer, like even though technically you're not supposed to, you know, mix them, that two-toned effect is actually really in as well. So, um, I have changed some of my routine since the last couple of videos. Um, it was mostly from the makeup video by Goss Makeup Artist on ten or ten tips to change your routine. So um, this CoverGirl Simply Ages 230 Eye Corrector, um, not only do you rub that on like your red spots to help it cover, but also um, instead of just under your eye, I put it on top of my eye because it's normally purple all the way around and that way I have base and then I bring it down and out to give the Kim Kardashian look. And of course this is winter coming up so my skin's getting dry and there's a moisture, that white part in there is moisture so if I need it I'll mix more moisturizer than the actual corrector to help with my certain areas. Alright, so um, you want to start off, I'm going to do the one for now, and you want to get, I have this Rimmel London, it's uh, Royal Linen, and let me use this for reference. This is a white tissue and this is the color of the eyeshadow. So it's a little bit warmer. I find that if you have cool colors like blue, I don't really... It doesn't look good on me because I'm supposed to be warm tone colors anyways for my eyeshadow. So I like to balance warm with cool colors and cool colors with warm colors. So I'm using a more softer, really light pastel -y color kind of to balance it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the corner of my eye and just a little bit on the bottom to the middle and then all the way on the top and really getting in here because I'm also going to use um, some techniques to lighten the color of your eyes and just make them pop. Now because I'm doing two different um, tutorials, one for day and one for night, we're going to do both eyes. Alright, so keep this for later. I'm using, it's not a, a dome brush but it's thin, it's still got a lot of movement, and it's like a dome brush, just longer, and that's so rounded. It's kind of like this versus rounded. Um, next, I'm going to do the evening one first. So I'm going to take that Indigo Impact CoverGirl color, And I'm going to demonstrate this because a lot of people, when they, I notice that people when they come into the store where I'm working, they put an eyeshadow and this is full on just one color eyeshadow. They don't really pigment it. And you're showing, if you're not putting on the full density of the eyeshadow you're using, the skin color shows through and it doesn't look really aesthetically pleasing. So I'm just going to put this on lightly to demonstrate. So a lot of people are, I find too, because my mom, when I first did this color, she did, she thought it was very intense, like way too much for a day look. So, this is what it looks like when you don't put enough on, 
And as you can see, my natural skin tone color is showing through and the color is just sort of... It's supposed to look a lot more intense than this. So we are now going to layer it on and just intensify this using our dumb brush. So have a um, napkin or a towel handy. Hair, get out of my eye. All right, um, because you're gonna end up taking all this product off and just using it to blend. Uh, make sure that the uh, when you're going underneath your eye that the line keeps following because I noticed that when I put my eyeliner up and the eyeshadow goes down like this, it doesn't work. So keep it going up. And as you can see, it's a lot more intense now. I'm going to see if I can make it more. I don't think I'm going to get very much more out of this. It's a little bit more exact to the color that's actually from my eyeshadow onto my eye. I'm intensifying it. I'm making sure that I have an eye primer on so it captures the true color of the eyeshadow. That is very important. And just a little thing that we're going to do before we continue. We're going to take some of this white that we were using before and we're just going to lightly go over it so that it blends more just in the middle because otherwise it's going to look like there's an invisible line here we don't want that um, and lighter colors go better over dark so next up I'm using the Ardeen 8B-HE286 and it's a very dark black with a little bit of shimmery sparkle color. So I'm going to wipe off the product of blue on my dome brush. Which I usually do on a towel because it seems to absorb it more. And now we're going to make it a smoky eye. And we're just going to do right there on the lid. So we're doing a V on the lid. And we're going to do like a three, and it's going to come up right into the crease. And make sure to get these edges that are on the outside. So it looks like that. And I'm going to start making sure it's more intense around this V, on the top and bottom, and into this corner. Because that's where I'm going to put my eyeliner. The darker you put it, the, you, like the eyeliner that I've been using is the Essence, and it's a shimmer. So, um... It may not completely pop off, I find. So I'm going to wipe off that now. And I'm just going to blend. Soften all these edges. Now I find it works best if you don't go... Your eyebrows right here. That little tip can go over a little bit. But I find if you go it any more, you're going to be way too much. So, that is the black. I'm not going to make it too intense because the eyeliner I'm using is kind of a lighter black shimmer. And it's by Essence Gel Liner Waterproof 02 London Baby. So it's not a full on black, but it's a little bit lighter with a shimmer. Um, before that, go back to your white again. You've already done the inner circle. Now I'm going to do it right under here. Put it on there so we can correct any lines. So from the corner to that pointed edge, I'm going to do a very, very thin layer right there underneath the eyebrow. And on top, make sure to blend because you don't want it to be one weird, strange line. Very thin, not too thick. And um, I use an eyelash gel. This is the e.l.f. one, which is like a dollar. And this is the Essence one, which is Lash and Brown. These are... Two or three nine nine, so they're pretty good. I'm gonna do my eyebrows so they stay in place. I find too if you put it on before any eyeshadow product, then you won't be getting it into your actual eyebrow gel. And now we're gonna take a honey brush into our eye gel pot. And we're going to do on the bottom to the midway and from the very corner on the top all the way around and do a little line. So 
So, um, for this line that continues from the corner of your eye out, you can just tilt your head and do like a little dot. I don't know how long you want it, but um, I always find that if you follow the natural curve of the bottom of your eye as it goes up to the corner, you just continue that line and that is your little wing. So there's that. And I always seem to forget this, but um, this is the part where you put mascara on. So two coats on the top. This is Lash Blast Length Water Resistant by CoverGirl. I have a lot of CoverGirl products. And if you wanted to add like a little oomph to this look, um, leave a space in here and do like a double wing and you can put some gold in there. Um, gold is a warm color and it really, really works well with the uh, blue. Make sure all your edges are blending into the skin so it doesn't look like a line and you should be good. Pair it with a nude lip and um, so that's it for the first one. I'm going to use um, this Rimmel London um, Glam Eyes, what is this, Dusk, and it's kind of like a nice chocolatey black, well not cho too chocolatey, it's more like a dark brownie chocolate color. Um, get your dome brush, don't put too much on because this is a dark color, so I'm just going to softly start shading. I'm going to get into that crease just under two thirds. The more lightly you go, the better. And then you can add more product and get darker. This is the day look. I would not necessarily put it this dark. I actually usually use kind of like a taupey pink and then shade it in with the, um, this brown. Um, but because we're doing the blue, I don't want the pink in there. So we're going to use the black one first. And we're just going to do a thin line. Not as thick as this one because we're combining two eyeliners into one. So it's a very thin line, and now go wash your brush, for me it's again, and we're going to do the blue. Now the consistency of this blue eyeliner is not as, it's a little bit more creamy, I should say, than the other stuff. So we're just going to put a very thin line over top of that black, all the way from the inside quarter to the edge. And that's it. So this pot was three fifty. dollars um, I got mine at the bargain shop because Target isn't here yet. Sellers are still going out of business, so once they're done, then Target comes in. Um, but the little brushes that come with these, don't use them. They're very thick, not very thin and pointed, like your actual makeup brush. Um, as nice as those are that they come with it, it doesn't really work that well. So here is the two looks. You have your night daytime with just a hint of blue and you have your nighttime and if you need to you can put like a thin line underneath that black of gold and just make it pop. Um, other options are too they have these like black rhinestone-y kind of studs that you can put on your black eyeliner and just give it kind of like that texture look. Finally I finish off with the Makeup Mist and Set by e.l.f. I went to Shoppers apparently there's no other products that have this so this for $3.50 at Target is an amazing deal. Um, unless I were to go to like some kind of fancy makeup shop, I've yet to find anything that is a makeup setter. I know apparently there's some in uh, Britain, but I'm um, not here in the States. So make sure to spray it up, let it mist on your face. There we go. And you're all done. Have a great day at work. Have a great day at the pubs. Please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Get a taxi. And I will see you all next week. Have a good day. 
and God bless.